Hey, it's Chuck here. We're back with Milton Daily Homes. We've got 13 on the list today. So the first one up is 318 Laurier, number four. And when you look through the pictures here, slate hardwood, upgraded kitchen, uh, open concept design, everything is looking good. You get a walkout finished basement here, which they're using as an office. I don't know if that's a real power shot. I mean, some dead grass isn't the most appealing. I do think it's priced well based on what other ones have sold for. Uh, it's listed at 229, maintenance fees of 283, and it's a nice area. Glory is pretty good. This complex is nice. So 919 Burrows is the next one, 2998, and it's uh, it's between 13 1400 square feet. Um, kitchen looks good. You got a uh, walkout just behind the dining room there. Bay window, pot lights, hardwood floors. Nice looking home. It's a two bedroom, three washroom, which means there's a powder room on the second floor where the, the kitchen, living dining is. And then you've got two full bathrooms upstairs. So even if you had a roommate, let's say you guys would each have your own bathrooms, or if you have one older kid, that works really well too. And the balcony. And the other thing about this one too is that you've got two story homes across the street, so it feels a little less alley ish. Whereas if you have uh, both sides of the street with three story homes, it can feel a little bit congested. Okay, so I like this one. It's priced, you know, even below what some of the other ones have sold for. It's a good pick for the day, absolutely. 713 Rainer is an Amesbury. I've talked about this a lot. So you've got a little area tucked in the corner, but it's essentially one big room in this home. Then you have the kitchen. Upstairs, you got three pretty good sized rooms. You have one full bathroom, so the ensuite is shared with the rest of the upstairs. And uh, now this shot's interesting. It actually backs onto what I believe is going to be uh, zoned commercial space. So just to get your bearings, Dairy's here, Scott's here. So if you type in Rainer, you're not going to get anything. Here's the train tracks just over to the side. And then you've got Rainer is right here. So that's the backing. This will eventually be one of those plazas like we see the one with Portobello's, Cape Dita, that kind of stuff. Uh, that's what we can expect on this one here. At 299 it compares. There's like six of them for sale right now. So it's probably not the best, but it's not the worst either. Now Bennett is a Hexa model, but for 1,400 square feet. Rare to find these. Not that uh, popular. I mean, in terms of, of when people bought them, but I think it's a great model. Master's huge. Everything's a little bit plain inside, but I'll tell you one thing I like. Look at that bathroom. Fantastic. Looking great. Uh, glass door, and they've done some landscaping in the back. At 1,400 square feet for a Madame home at 325 you can't beat it. It's a good price. It's definitely a good pick for the day. 822 Ferguson. This is a Lake Point 1385 square feet for 340. Same idea with this one. Front door, you get a big open room here. And there's the fireplace. I think I'd paint that mantle white. Uh, you get the kitchen here, and the bedrooms are decent size, if not spectacular. Good size counter in the uh, the master ensuite. And Next one up is 617 Scott. This is one of the three-story. It's a uh, double garage. I profiled one yesterday at 354 that I thought was priced well. This is at 344. And uh, obviously not as upgraded inside. There's a good shot of the main floor family room. And there's the kitchen there. I really think it's worth the investment to spend 100 bucks to get like even a black or a stainless steel hood to match with your appliances. I think it really finishes your kitchen's look there. Um, and hardwood, or sorry, no hardwood floors here. And it's a good layout. That is your backyard over the garage. I know I've reiterated that a bunch of times. So this one is priced really well. Uh, you just don't get a backyard. So personally, not my cup of tea. Now the next one, it has Pepto Bismol skies. It sounds like a Beatles song. Lucy in the sky with um, Spring Ridge model, three bedroom, three washroom. It's a Spring Ridge. Uh, and, you know, the kitchen's okay. Some people have a tough time with this layout. There's two pass through windows, but it doesn't have that open concept feel to it. That's the front room uh, with the bay window that you'd see at the uh, at the entrance of the home. Uh, there's a deck there. So overall, you know, two parking spaces here. Hutchinson's a pretty good street. 369.8. Not bad. You know, there's no finished basement here. Um, I just, those, those pictures just make you not want to look at the home. You just want to comment on how weird the sky is being pink. 171 Bell Street is 399.8. And interesting one, this one, because it's a bungalow. It's smaller. It's a two-bedroom two downstairs too, uh, 50 by 113 lot. Now, 
It doesn't have a garage, number one. And number two is, I don't know if it's big enough that it's going to substantiate the uh, the downsize. Because this is a bungalow that you downsize to, whereas some bungalows uh, that we've seen listed in the last week, like for, uh, they're, they're first-time buyer type of bungalows. Now, nice upgrades inside, kitchen cabinets. We'll see the return of these cabinets in a second. You've got crown molding here. Uh, there's a little eat-in area, dining. And look at that. The spare kitchen cabinets, I guess, went around the bed. I tried to figure this out. I go, what the heck is this? There's a bed there. So it's almost like a little Murphy bed, but I don't think it folds up. And they've done some upgrades in the bathrooms. So real interesting one. I don't think it's that huge, but I do think that they've definitely done a nice job on this one. I think it's a niche type of market that's going to be a very specific kind of buyer that likes this one. 745 Caldwell, 399. It's uh, probably not a huge home. When you look at the measurements, it's less than 2,000 square feet. You've got the great room here, then you have the kitchen, the breakfast area. That's it. So it's very, it, I don't even know if it's L shaped. It could just be once you get past the one and a half car garage that you get into the main meat of the home. Bedrooms upstairs are decent, if not spe spectacular side. Me personally, I think a one and a half car garage is really the same thing as a one car. You got to get the full double to get the effect of having a bigger garage. But it might work well if you have a motorcycle or something, or if you just want to store a bunch of crap in your garage. Uh, 1197 Fox is 460. This one had an offer, and then I guess it fell through because it's back on the market now. I like this one. There's a park in the back. You've got forested homes uh, just in front of you. has all the things. It has a finished basement, double garage, 2,200 square feet. Good value in the price range. I like it inside. Hardwood floors. That's the living room, dining. You've got a family and a kitchen over here. And upstairs, all the rooms are nice sized. Uh, the basement feels a little bit choppy. It feels like all these different sort of duct, you know, drywall effects and things. It chops it up a little bit. There is a bathroom down there. I think there are definitely some nice features there. Maybe a little spit and polish in the basement. But uh, I do like it. It needs a, probably a little bit of cosmetic work. But uh, overall, it's in good shape. It's a good location, too. I like that street. Uh, 285 Weston. Interesting one. This one here is uh, there's one for 589. I think it's on Swindale. Just went under offer. And this one to me looks better than that one there. Of course, you've got your, I hope those are green apples, uh, hardwood floors throughout the main level. Nice open concept here. So you've got living dining plus a den in the front in addition to the kitchen and family room. And nice design here. They've decorated well. Glass shower, you got two sinks. And uh, overall, this one's really nice. And 585, it's priced more attractively than the other one, too. Five bedrooms in this one. Uh, I'm feeling it. I like it. There's some good picks today. 421 Bayless. Now, the value on this one, this is less than 2,500 square feet. Uh, 589. Four bedroom, three washroom. Some of the interesting things that I like about it is it's got a 75 foot uh, rear yard, so double the space, pie shaped, and 150 along one side. And there's a walkout basement here, too. A lot of stuff going on here that's not really the value doesn't come from inside the house. Um, some of the upgrades they've done granite counters, stainless steel appliances, but there's no hardwood. And I think it's one of those ones that looks nice, but it's not extremely upgraded inside. But the value here is the lot. So it's just a question of who's willing to pay probably an extra forty to 50000 for this lot. Now, 919 Ferguson, I thought this was a good deal when it was out before in the sixes. Now they've relisted it at 599 And great uh, upgrades in this one. You've got crown moldings. The kitchen looks really nice. Uh, I would have done a close-up of the kitchen personally. You've got moldings in the master bedroom. Um, you've got wainscoting on the walls here. And you got a finished basement. This one's pretty decent priced even without a finished basement. And you got all this extra space here. I like it a lot. Um, it's good. It's in the Hawthorne Village School District too. And that's our last one for the day. So if you have any questions, give us a call. And I would encourage you just like yesterday, if you want to come out, meet me at Starbucks. I'm going to be there just about every day this week. Just sign up on that side and fill out the form and we'll get together and we'll talk about your plans. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.